The Chinese hot pot chain Hai Di Lao recently issued a profit warning on 21st February. It was expecting a net loss of 3.8 billion to 4.5 billion RMB for the financial year. The poor performance is disappointing given that revenue in 2021 is expected to exit 40 billion RMB, which was a 40% growth from a year before. So not surprisingly, Hai Di Lao's stock price has really taken a beating. The share has plunged more than 70% over the past year. Now, let's look at some of the key reasons for this decline today. But first, hi guys, my name is Stanley, and I'm the co-founder of ValueInvestAsia.com, an investment portal where I give you investment news and also in-depth analysis on listed company every single week. So if you're new to our channel, remember to hit that subscribe button so you'll not miss out on any of our videos. Now, let's stir up the pot on Hai Di Lao. Number one, COVID-19 challenges. The company business was severely affected in 2020 due to the outbreak of COVID-19. And to protect the health and safety of its customers and employees, the company suspended operation of all its restaurants in mainland China voluntarily from January 2020. Meanwhile, the COVID-19 pandemic raged on overseas, which severely affected its restaurant business in its overseas market. The company then gradually reopened restaurants in China starting in March 2020 as the COVID-19 restriction eased. So for the financial year in 2020, the company recorded a revenue of 28.6 billion RMB. That is an increase of 7.8% compared to 2019. However, the profit for 2020 was just 309 million RMB, a significant decrease of 87%. The restaurant chain operation continued to be impacted by repeated outbreaks in 2021 as well. Number two, weak new stores performance. Despite the uncertainty business environment, Hai Di Lao adopted an aggressive approach in store expansion. This is because it anticipates a recovery trend in the catering industry overall. Hai Di Lao founder Zhang Yong wagered that the FMB sector will rebound quickly in China and the pandemic would really offer the chain an opportunity to expand its footprint uh, during an uncertain time. Thus, the company doubled its store count to close to 1,600 stores by the end of 2020. As a result, the company recorded revenue of 20.1 billion RMB in the first half of 2021, an increase that is more than doubled the previous year. Profit also improved at a similar rate. However, new store performance has been weaker than expected. Currently, its same store table turnover rate is only at 60 to 70% of 2019 levels. Management has also commented that the break even period for new open restaurants has been longer than expected. In the post COVID 19 era, maybe there will be fewer dine out occasions and more home cooking or takeaways. If this consumer behavior changes permanently, Hai Di Lao's aggressive expansion strategy might turn out to be a bad investment. Hai Di Lao's main hot pot competitor, Xiaobu Xiaobu Catering Management, which is listed in Hong Kong, also faced a similar challenges. The shares of Xiaobu Xiaobu has been down about 75% in the past year. And its CEO, He Guan Chi, revealed in an interview that it will be planning to close down more than 200 loss-making stores. This is something that Hai Di Lao might end up following as well. In an industry that is ultra-competitive, Hai Di Lao has achieved really unprecedented heights. Investors have really poured into the stock over the past few years, sending its stock price to valuation higher than many software tech companies. However, that optimism has turned completely. The company announced that it will be shutting down or suspending operation of around 300 poorly performing restaurants back in November 2021. That is about one-fifth of its total restaurant count. But interestingly, Hai Di Lao will be keeping all its employees, and affected employees will be redeployed within the group. According to management, the closure will mainly affect outlets around China. In addition, the company also said that it has decided to launch a plan in which it is dubbed the Woodpecker, which is to improve the operating performance of the company first. Part of the plan is to slow down the company expansion plan if the average table turnover rate of Hai Di Lao restaurant is still less than four times a day, no new Hai Di Lao restaurant will be opened on a large-scale basis in principle. 
Haidi Lao is currently struggling to replicate its past success. Closing restaurants should increase the productivity of its remaining stores. The company will also face many one-off calls to store closure, which can affect its earnings in the near term as well. On top of that, the fight with COVID-19 is far from over in China, and the company might continue to face uncertainty over lockdown and closure. It could be years before we see Heidi Lao recover back its lost mojo. So what do you guys think of Heidi Lao? Share your thoughts with us below. And if you've gotten value from this video, please give us a like and share it with a friend who you think will benefit from it as well. If you're new to investing, you can always check out our free investing course at valueinvestasia.com slash free course. As always, till we meet again, my name is Stanley, Invest safely.